Hey folks, it's Fitz again, and I'm following up on my previous uh, video. Uh, the last time I talked to you, I was basically telling you about the, the scoop, about how I like it and how, you know, how it works, things like that. And uh, I've had a couple people asking me if I can give them some tips on getting started and getting used to it. And it's, it's, I mentioned it, it's an unusual motion because it's using muscles that a lot of us haven't used before or underused muscles. So I said, yeah, uh, basically no problem. I've been, uh, it's been about a month now and I've been on quarantine like many of us and working from home. So I've used this time to use the scoop probably at least a half hour to over an hour a day. And I have noticed some things. And the one thing I noticed and that just what I'm just gonna share with you today is the difference between learning flat foot versus on your toe or on the ball of your foot. And I'll tell you right off the bat that uh, with lifting your heel and going on the ball of your foot is gonna be a much easier way to learn the scoop. So I'm gonna show you that now. But the first thing I'm gonna do as I say as a tip is you saw me before on the couch. That's fine, you can do it on the couch and there's no problem. Some of you have said you've had some problems that the uh, scoop starts to slide a little. That's probably because if you're slumped forward or if you're sitting back on a couch, as you extend your leg, you're gonna be shearing forward. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pushing against or away from you, which would have a tendency to make the scoop slide. If you sit correctly and you're using your hip flexors and you're doing the up and down motion, that shouldn't be an issue. So when you get the form correctly, you wanna make sure that the scoop is centered in front of you, close enough for your legs are bent, almost about 90 degrees, and then you start the movement. And if you're doing it properly with just an up and down movement, there should be no problem with the scoop sliding away. But what you'll see is right now, I've pretty much got my feet flat on the pedals. Now, that's kind of like the mechanism when I was saying most of us, how I re-ride a bike. We push, push, push. Now, the thing I realized after doing this for a while is that when I was in, foot, when I was in high school, they used to tell you that if you wanted to uh, be solid and firm and you know, balanced, you go flat foot. If you wanted to be quick and agile, you go on your toes. Well, I found that when you rest your whole foot on the pedal like this, what's happening is basically my legs are just pushing down and the other one is just dead weight, all the weights on the pedal. So when I'm pushing, I'm actually pushing down to lift this leg up. My uh, hip flexors, you know, at the beginning aren't that strong. So it's not like I can just keep lifting my leg up with my hip flexors. So more likely I'm pushing down to lift the other leg up. It's a good workout for the glutes and thighs, but if you're first learning, it's gonna produce more of a herky-jerky movement. Now, if you just lift your heel up off and go on your toes, just like I said before, when you're run, sprinters and football players are told to be lighter on your feet by going on your toes, notice that now I don't have to push as hard. First of all, there's no dead weight on the other pedal and there's less, uh, since I'm pressing with my calf down on it, I don't have as much weight downwards. So I don't have to, as much weight in my hip flexors and I'm not having to push down to lift the other leg. I can actually raise both up. So you'll notice when I was going flat foot before, I was going at a cadence of about 84. Right now, I'm probably in the mid 90s. Switch it to the other side. And the other thing that brought it to mind was when you watch professional cyclists, if you ever notice, when they clip into their pedals, they don't have shoes that are completely flat on the pedals. The clip is on the forefoot of the shoe. So again, just my only tip for today or to get started is basically make sure that your scoop is close enough to you where you have an up and down motion, not shearing and pushing it away. And if, when you're learning, probably try to not go flat foot on the pedals, go maybe on, not necessarily on the toes, but on the ball of the foot. And again, when you're doing it, push down, try it flat, flat foot first and notice you have to press harder and it weighs more and go on your toes and notice that you're quicker and a little more agile. So that's just my quick tip for today. Uh, if you have any um, you know, questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. And uh, thanks so much. Take care.